Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I will show you how you can conditionally format the Power BI card KPI. So card KPI is this one, which is uh, present over here. It's very simple to create a card KPI if I need to create it. And in this video, I want to show you how you can change this color 2.3 million based on some selection. Let's say, for example, subcategory. But before I show that, just a quick information that this sheet is this sheet where I'm ca capturing all of my videos related to the Power BI is present in the description, which you can use it if you are looking for any specific topic that I have published previously, or even in the future, I will going to keep on updating this sheet so that you can easily search any video and jump directly to it using this link. So make sure you add this in the bookmark uh, in your uh, wherever you are keeping it all your learning material so power bi tutorial will always be uh, with you whenever you need it all right so let me create this uh, kpi right from the start so over here we have the card kpi and here we need to add the field so we will going to add a numeric field which is sales i will just put it over there and you will see that same field has been created 2.3 million sales now <clears throat> excuse me if you need to do the change in terms of uh, based on some selection like i mentioned then we need to create a slicer so slicer is over here so now we have the slicer and i will put subcategory i'll just enable that and subcategories are now present in the slicer that way if i select anything the value within the KPI or the card KPI is changing. Now what I want is based on some rules, let's say if it is zero or if it is uh, uh, zero to uh, 100,000, let's say that that is red. If it is 100,000 to uh, 1 million, then it is sort of yellow or greenish or any color. Or if it is more than 1 million, then uh, you know it's green or it's like high profitable category. So this is a very normal and a regular requirement. And if you are facing this uh, and trying to do the same thing within the KPI, then I'll show you very quickly how you can do that. So first thing first, select this and then come to the formatting. And within the formatting, go to the data label. Within the data label, you have two ways. One is you can directly choose any color and that will be present here. Let's say if I choose blue and it always be sort of a blue but fx or the function is basically helps you define the expression so you have three styles gradient rules and field value so for now since i have let's say three rules i will going to specify rules so the rule is based on sum of sales because this is what already has been chosen so if you have any other field on which you want to do that then you can like for example profit you can choose the profit so sum of sales sum and here is the value so if value is greater than or equal to let's say one or zero that means at least it has to be zero up till hundred thousand then let's just make it right that means it is low on value for example in our case new rule if it is greater than hundred thousand but less than one million three four five six then it is let's say this yellow new rule if it is greater than one million three four five six uh but less than 100 million then it is what blue yeah and click okay so as we do that you see now it is since it is falling under the middle rule between 100,000 to 1 million, that's why it is 107. So if I click on bookcase, chairs, copiers, art, so art is falling under the 0 to 100,000. So in that case, it is red. Storage, phones, supplies. So as you can see, based on the conditions that we are specifying uh, here in the data label, and in this we can uh, we can basically set the conditional formatting for our 
cart kpi if you want to remove this you can simply remove this by clicking on this icon once you click it everything is removed and it is back to the normal stage so that's really i wanted to show you how you can specify the conditional formatting very quickly within the card kpi and that will give you the output as you would expect so now i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic